All right, guys. So we're going to talk about solos and ways to get around the map, get some loot, how a solo does it, even on a Zerg server. Um, Zerg server, obviously, if you don't know, means, you know, big groups and all that stuff. And I'm going to show you. I know. Here we go. Here's another solo guy talking about what they do. But I'm going to show you the way I do it. And um, basically, you know, if this helps out in any way, make sure you subscribe uh, and I will, you know, release more of these. Um, first thing I do is when I come to any server, I'll, um, you know, I open up my map and what I do is I look for offline vendors, see all these offline vendors. And this is like when you're starting fresh, you got nothing. I'll start visiting all them. And the reason I do that is because what happens is hackers get banned, things decay. That's like free loot that obviously can help you. I've gotten AKs that way from vending machines, uh, all types of stuff. So, like, that's, like, the first thing I'll do. Um, you know, just kind of go around and, and look for, for everything. All right, one of the second things I do, and you'll hear this a lot, is, like, location, 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 right? Yeah, okay, very cliche, but here's, here's the thing. That is very true to, you know, a certain extent. Let's take this for instance. I built over here by... D15. Okay, why did I do that? Well, first off, there's a couple reasons. And one of the main reasons I'm going to show you is at the end. And it's probably the best tip that I could give for somebody starting out as a solo. Okay. Now, I built here because I got the gas station here, right? And what happens with having a gas station and recycling is this is, you know, let's call it day one, really. And I got a tier two already um, because I'm able to go back and forth. And yes, don't get me wrong. You're getting in gunfights. You're getting in bow fights. This is a full server. So it's all that stuff puts your progression back, right? Um, same thing with fighting your neighbors. Okay, for instance, let me just we'll heal up a little quick. Just in case somebody's outside. Boom. So we'll talk about the pad in a second. There's not too many neighbors around me, right? I got a whole view of the gas station. There's really not that many people around me. And that's kind of what you get when you build in uh, desert areas. Some people think the desert's really hard to survive because um, there's not like a lot of stone. But truthfully, you find it, um, whether you find it somebody farming uh, you'll find it, you know, stone barricades and you recycle, like all, you'll find stone and same with metal, you know, you can get metal pretty easy when you're by the gas station. Cause you're making runs nonstop, right? As somebody's raiding around me. Now, what the best part of being this close, that's actually pretty close to, but the best part of this is being pretty close is that I got, like I said, I could do runs from here and there. When you first start a wipe, you don't want to be around too many people because what ends up happening is you end up fighting with them and you just it takes you if it's a group most of the time it's always like me in verse three yeah you get some wins out of it you get some losses but at the same time your progression takes that much longer and what they're going to do is they're going to progress longer than you and if you are just a one man show they're going to end up raiding you so you kind of want to do it and this is not the most hidden location but because you could do better I just kind of did it just to get, you know, get my, my roots in the ground. And you can go as small. I, I built small, little, literally a shack, right? Nobody's going to, I shouldn't say nobody. Most people are not going to waste their time rating this, right? They already know it's metal door, metal door. How much can possibly be in here, right? So they're, 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 I'll have like two or three of these on the map, which leads to my next my next thing i will this is just a day one you know got some sars got some some tommies um we got some good material uh tier two workbench which i'm learning you know recipes things like that or blueprint blueprint sorry got my furnace to make you know because you want progression on the metal for the doors and just not only that for 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 weapons and such so to me you do one or two of these, right? Now, sometimes I might build one. Um, 
on the, in the cut, like probably like around here. Why do I do that? Is because if this one gets rated, at least I have this one. I'll split material, and then I'll you know work off that if one gets rated, or I'll start fresh somewhere else and build something else. You know, by the outpost is okay. I tend to, I don't really like the outpost. Uh, I used to play you know the outpost game, but uh, not my gig. So I would probably move maybe by a power plant. Um, launch site. Launch site's pretty popular, so you kind of want to stay away from it. So maybe by these mountains, I, I'll build another shack like that, right? Again, those shacks get over, overlooked pretty quick because, um, like, how much can that person have in, 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 a, in a little shack like that? So those are, are, are kind of things that, that I'll do. Um, and, like, I'll roll, you know, listen, if you got the weapon, roll, roll with it. I know a lot of people... They like to do their house hiding and, and all that stuff. Um, just don't be afraid to lose anything. This is, come on, this is just the game. You're going to get it again. You're going to get it again. And that leads to my other, one of my other things is one of the first things I try to do is get one of these guys right here, these bad boys. And if you looked at my last short, if you haven't, go check it out. Um, what it is is you you sit there and you find where to make a play. And you make a play. Like I made a play to get some of uh, this material and i made a play to get a tommy um and bullets right a lot of bullets because what do i lose a water pipe oh no okay i was naked too i believe no i think i had a hazmat hazmats don't be i don't like them to be honest with you it's like a like you're like right there in the open it's yellow it's easy to hit a red mark on your head i try never to wear them unless like i'm in radiation because or I can or I can uh, skin them because you they're too easy to see like the most people I kill in this game is because they have a hazmat on because I see the little red head pop up you know so I stay away from them um obviously you want to get metal kitted out I guess we understand that boom but if you could skin it perfect uh if not you know it is what it is my one of my last tips that I will give um and truthfully this one helps and it's underrated if you don't know it um you know, start using it if you can. Um, and what else? We're going to do it with the... We'll do it with this. Make sure you subscribe. Also, if this video helps, uh, it helps me out a lot to know what we're going to be doing, blah, 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 etc. Okay, so we're going to do this. Put this away. Put this away. Put this... Yeah, we can put that away. We can put that away. And organize your box a little better than me. Um, word of advice. I've never been really good at that. All right, so now one of the most underrated things that I swear to you when you're in the desert is you take one of these, and it doesn't take much to get one of them, and you just start beating on these, right? What does this do? It gives you cloth, and it gives you these guys, right? And you're like, okay, wow, it does five, right? But you, you start to get a good bit a bit of them. For some reason, my two-box my, my two key is not functioning. I don't know if that's my keyboard or... So boom, we're getting cloth, right? Now you can find these suckers everywhere. So five minutes of doing this, you get your you get your cloth up and you get, you know, some food. Cause those cactus fleshes. Right? Like we have 20 cloth already, right? So if you need a sleeping bag and you're in the freaking desert, do this. If you need bandages for bandages, just do this. Like five minutes, ten minutes of this, you'll have like 300 cloth, you know? Um, so I think it's very underrated. I don't know. Like I found this pretty, I found this out pretty late in the game, and then I started using it every wipe because <laughs> it's just like, look, we got five cactus fleshes, right? Those give five, eight, uh, five food, right? Boom, boom, boom. Gives you water, right? So you just keep going, you just keep beating on these things. Get yourself a full life, and these things are everywhere, like literally everywhere. Just don't go too close and don't get hit. Guys, once again, please make sure you subscribe. And I, see, don't do that. Sadness. Subscribe. Peace.